Happy Thumbs Gaming. Big show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're working on Prologue playthrough for Sniper Elite V2. And we got 101 bottles we're tracking here. So after a quick cutscene, we'll get back to the details. Machine, once unstoppable, was now in the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. I think, I think we're going there. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. Whee! The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. Inhuman. Faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. Ba-boom. It was a terror weapon. Pummeling Antwerp, Paris, and London. He... Oh. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last ditch defense falling back block by block, and total defeat only days away, those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Get over here. Stealing all sorts of stuff from Mortal Kombat. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V2 program's top men. Alright guys, so here we are. Prologue walkthrough. This is uh, only available if you are playing single player. It is not something you can jump into multiplayer. Uh, and there is one bottle. If you are trying to uh, go for 100% completion on your game, you definitely want to obtain the Jungle Juice trophy slash achievement. And uh, by doing so, you need to find and shoot all 37 bottles throughout the game. So starting right off from the beginning on level 1, the prologue, uh, you actually have one of one bottle to obtain. So this little prologue is basically walking you through, kind of showing you what to expect in the game, how the controls work, um, you know, the different types of weapons and things you have. So we just set the trip mine there, so if anyone walks through that, booyah kashow, no good for them. That we need in a wheelchair. So let's see here. And then the next thing is the rock. This is kind of tricky. We seem to have an unlimited supply of rocks, and what we're going to use the rocks for is to distract our enemies. So there's a couple baddies standing on the other side of this tank, just to my left here. And we're going to pitch a couple rocks off to the side here and get their attention. And as they run to go see what the hell that clickety-clack sound was, we're going to go ahead and duck through this uh, door behind them. Make sure you're crouched the whole time. As you can see, uh, they even kind of spot a little glimpse of me there as I walk through. And uh, crouching will make sure that nobody hears you. I mean, this this is all stuff that it tells you in the game. So I'm not sure I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know if you've played the game. If you haven't played the game, that's probably why you're watching this video. But a uh, little creepy crawling through the walls there. Again, just step by step showing you the different actions. And it's more or less its way of teaching you. So we're going to go ahead and take cover here and blast this dude right in the face. Psych! We're going to pull out our well rod and rod him well. <laughs> schnarf, schnarf. There's a lot of blood. Somebody might want to have that looked at. Alright, so now the dude's dead. We're going to push up a little bit. And we're going to plant a landmine nowhere near his dead body in hopes that somebody will step on it that goes to check on him. Good thing back in this time people were awfully gullible, so that might actually work in today's time. Oh, I'll shut up now. The white stallions have arrived. Some dude of importance. Von Eisenberg was punctual. Some pretty he made no boots. effort to hide his ugly face. He just looks like a douche. 
Need a deal that dude Russian looks like contact. a snitch. He looked like he about to go tell on someone right now. Oh, look at that. Instinct's usually right. I had a clear shot. So in this particular case, the slightest pressure on the trigger. Yeah, the sniper was good to take out the snitch. General. Just but a question of choosing my moment. The guy he's snitching to seems to be the a square was well organized. sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. So I had to target him. Notch above the target. And as we lock in there, we'll focus in. Control my breathing to steady my hand. Pressing that R2 then, or right trigger. Shoot. And make sure you tap up on the D-pad and make sure you're zoomed in and we'll get a nice little bullet cam and um head, shoulders, knees and toes. Just his head. It's fucking wig splitting material right there. Alright, so we got a little ghost there representing we've been spotted and silent but deadly added to our count there. So you can see I'm pretty noob status here. Oh, someone did walk into our mind. Booyaka shell. Booyaka shell. All right, man down. I'm just gonna plow back through and follow that uh, beacon. And we're getting pretty close to that bottle, ladies and gentlemen. Once we get uh, shot at by this tank. Duck through here. Make our way back across the street. And it's uh, actually, the bottle is pretty much right above us right now. No way to get it. In this angle, you have to wait until you cross the street. And beware, when that truck pulls up, that's bad news bears. Walter Matho. The Lost in Powers reference for anybody out there that's the Austin Powers fan. All right, it's pretty clear where we need to go. But getting there is another task. So we'll open up fire and blast this dude right in the, right in the noggin. And I tried to pop a cap in that cap. Oh yeah. No, no luck there. So I'll struggle and almost die like three or four times right here, so I apologize for the extreme noobness. And yeah, if we don't already, we will have a jungle juice trophy that'll have uh, the shortened version of each level and where the locations are. But for right now, we have not got that far. So this will have to do for those early achievers out there trying to get that 100% out there. Alright, looks like the coast is clear. We'll pick some pockets real quick because we gangsters like that. No sense in letting all that ammunition go to waste. Alright, here we go, people. Moment of truth. As soon as you come up the stairs, you turn around and you look straight across. And... Wait for it. Make sure you got the heartbeat down so you can focus. Make sure you tap up. And, uh... Blast away at it like I did. Don't really matter how you get it. Only matters that you got it. Ooh, X-ray down. Alright, and we'll focus in one last time and probably miss two or three more times. Psych! Bullet cam to the top nozzle. Alright. One of 37. The journey has begun. Jungle juice. It's actually a term that I'd almost forgotten about. Party, party day. My party days of drinking long ago. The old jungle juice. Eating that pineapple and watermelon. Eating other things afterwards. Ah, yeah. All right. So, once we get our confidence built up here, plow a few more domes. Or take out a few more chests. Kills it. Right? Just kind of working our way down towards the end here. Ooh, looked like he shot at me, too. That was a double bullet cam. One going in, one going out. And I win. All right, this is kind of the last little standoff of the prologue here. I'm 
something I recommend if you haven't figured it out. There's a couple explosive barrels down below, marked in red. Let's blast one of them here in a second. Depending on your timing, they can be pretty successful. Make sure you drill that guy. There's another sniper high right to the right in the middle of there. Let's get him, come on. Boom. And then we start uh, looking down below here. There's one of them. Oh. There is a trophy for uh, detonating explosives, such as like tanks and trucks and stuff like that. Pretty sure that those red barrels count. Uh, I'll have to double check that, so don't hold me to it. But uh, you guys might look into it as well. And if you find out before I do, feel free to leave a comment below. Blasting all them barrels. All right. So I think we got it all cleared out here. He seems to be shooting at us anymore, so we'll climb over and head down and initiate the final cutscene. I was to take a quick now. peek at that uh, stat sheet, which I'm hey, not trying to impress anybody here. The important part is we got the uh, the bottle. One of one and zero of zero. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for tuning in. That's going to go ahead and wrap up today's Sniper Elite V2 Prologue walkthrough, where we obtained the one of one bottle. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. We're trying to build our Twitter following so we can start some contests going. We're not going to go until we get a little, at least 500. Right now we're not quite there yet. So uh, get on over to Twitter, click that follow button, and uh, until next time, see ya.